Howdy gang, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we're on location in beautiful Melbourne, Florida. So I got a call today uh, where I have a homeowner that has a bathroom in the downstairs of this two-story house that is acting up, you know, there's kind of bubbling and whatnot. I have no idea if this is on septic or on city. Uh, I'll show you a couple things that make me think that it may be on septic, but it could be on city. Uh, two upstairs bathrooms, of course, they don't have any kind of issue. Uh, let's see what we're working with. It's the house, two bathrooms upstairs, and over on the other wing of the house, there's another bathroom, but it's downstairs. I don't want to get on that roof. Now I'm walking out here to the road, because usually you'll see manhole covers if it's on city the neighborhood is but this is one of those little neighborhoods where it's a possibility that they are on septic i don't see any kind of manhole covers out here so let's walk around the house concrete all around the house look at that there's a manhole cover right here in the guy's backyard now why would the city have a manhole cover on somebody's property this far in unless this was installed and there's a septic system down here under the concrete that makes me wonder if there is in fact a septic system here where the heck is a drain field it's all concrete well we know it's not all the way here in the backyard because there's a full-size pool and the river back here so let's continue looking so let's go inside the house and take a look at this toilet that's having a problem. Alright, so let's take a look at the toilet that we're having issues with. Wow, look at this thing. Old school wall hung tank. Alright, no way I'm pulling this toilet up because there's way too much involved with this. So that's not going to be an option to get this thing to flush properly. We're gonna have to probably get up on the roof. Now hold on, I know what you're thinking. Why are you getting on the roof? Just go around and look for a clean out. That way you can snake it out from there. Problem is the entire circumference of the house is concrete. There is no clean out to be found. This is the only way to do it here in Florida. We got helper with me today. Kind of windy. We're up on the river. We already got our snake down through here. This is above that bathroom. They had the toilet with a problem. So, but I gotta be careful so I don't run too much if they are on septic and get the snake stuck inside of there. I'm gonna run a little bit more and then we're gonna go test that toilet, that fancy toilet downstairs. See that I had to run the snake down through a roof vent. Now I've gotten crap from a lot of people in the past. Tim, why do you get up on a roof when you can just go down and pull a toilet up or find a clean out? Like I mentioned earlier, you saw the toilet that's inside that's got a wall hung tank and all that business. I'm not messing around with that and taking the risk of breaking something or having their poo water come all over the floor. And on top of that, walk around the entire house has concrete and brick pavers, so there's no way of finding a clean out. This is the only alternative. Now that we've ran the snake down through here, we're gonna pull the snake out, see if we pull anything out and maybe hooked onto something. And then we're gonna go down, we're gonna try that fancy toilet out and make sure that it flushes properly. And don't get me wrong, listen, 
I do not like getting up there on the roof any more than anybody else, but in the cases like this, we don't have a choice. So we're gonna go back inside here real quick before we wrap this video up, and we're gonna test out this fancy little toilet and make sure that the customer's happy. have it that's another video i appreciate you guys taking a minute stop by and hanging out with me my analysis of what i think the issue here in this house is is these homeowners use really really thick plush toilet paper and that stuff doesn't really break down uh, this house is built in the 70s or maybe the beginning of the 80s so it does have pvc piping and stuff in it and that toilet you saw inside that i flushed that thing's got super super velocity and a lot of power so you shouldn't have problems with uh, there being stoppages, of course, unless there's something that's flushed down there that shouldn't be there. Hey, thanks so much for taking a few minutes. Until next time, this has been Plumber with Tim. Keep plumbing.